So this is your basic instruction for bow making 101. I am starting out with a 12 inch length of green grow grain ribbon. It's 5 8 inches wide and it is the same on both sides. I like to start with no less than 9 inches of ribbon. Any less than that and it just is too short and it gets frustrating. So the first thing to do is leave a little bit of tail on the end. About an inch and a half to 2 inches. And then we're going to make a little loop. This is just like tying your shoes in school where you make the little bunny ear. And then you wrap around and then your thumb is in just the right place for making a little hole. And you're going to go through the hole with another little bunny ear loop and then tie it tight. Now most people stop right there and they say I can't make a bow. <laughs> well that's because you're only half done. So now we manipulate the bow. Make it smaller, we tie it tighter, keep manipulating it, we move those tails kind of down, we move those bows until we get them just the right size. Alright, so that's better. Now we have to do something with these tails. When it's cut just straight like that, it frays. So there's a couple different ways that you can trim your tails. So you can trim it at an angle like this and that keeps it from fraying. Or you can give it a notched tail and you do that by folding the ribbon in half. Okay, and then I'm just going to hold it between my fingers like this and then you're going to cut away from the center of the bow. Just like that. And it gives you that nice notched tail. We're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to turn it over. Holding it in half holding it there with my fingers and we're going to cut away, not quite in half, we go away from the center of the bow. This side, <laughs> I'm going to cut this way. All right, now, doesn't that look nice? Now you can also then turn that over. You have a very nice bow. Now let's take another example of a different kind of ribbon. This is the same width but it's single sided pattern. So we're going to accommodate for that. We're going to make the bow in the same way, leaving about an inch and a half to two inch tail. We're making a loop, we're wrapping around, going through that little pull. We're making another loop and we're pulling tight. Now we've got one that doesn't have a pattern on it. So as you are manipulating your tails, we need to take this tail and turn it to the right side, all right? And then you're manipulating your bow, your loops again. And as you pull that down, you'll have to turn it again and then pull. So every time you kind of manipulate your loop though, you'll have to twist again. So you might want to wait to twist till you get your loops the correct length. There we go. So now when you make that twist, it's in the right direction. I'm going to trim those tails. There you go.